Okay, I'm going to show you how to brighten up a darker interior. This is a process I've been using with great success. And I shoot a lot of darker interiors and I had to come up with something um, that was efficient enough not to burn the shadow pixels. But now what I'm doing uh, is, of course, shooting multiple exposures uh, and you know exposing for the dark and shadows areas um, but th for this tutorial we're going to just show you how to do it in Photoshop so the first thing we're going to do with this somewhat dark image uh, is we're going to do this layer and create a copy so there it is there, an exact copy. Uh, the easiest thing, one of the most profound Photoshop experiences I guess I've had uh, with these dark rooms is just to change the screen mode or the rather uh, layer mode to screen. Okay, look at that. Boom. And I mean that's obviously overexposed and too bright but what we can do is just change the opacity. I mean, just that alone is a huge difference. So I'm going to show you kind of the next step because I don't want to increase the luminance levels or brightness of this entire image, just parts of it, like these, sh these shadowy, darker cabinets here. I should probably turn this off. Some of these areas here obviously are pretty dark. Um, so what we want to do is create an inverted layer mask. So we'll go to the masks panel. If you don't see that, you can go to window and masks there. So, uh, so it's in the adjustment layers. So masks, and then we're going to select a new mask. We're going to add a pixel mask, but then we're going to invert it and you're going to watch so you'll see this change to black, which actually covers over it. And what we want to do is reveal parts of that brightened screen mode layer by using the brush tool. I've already got it here, but uh, obviously it's right there, or you can use B as a shortcut. Uh, first thing we want to check is the hardness of the brush edges. So we want them soft, which is to the left, somewhere around there and opacity. You definitely don't want 100% because then you're going to get that. So we don't want that. So I like to work around 30, 30, 30, somewhere around there. So I'm just going to increase the size of the brush. and I'm just going to start lightly brushing in the masked layer, which is much brighter. And guess what? You can sort of get the spot, RE spot, Lowell, L light spot look. Uh, if you do it a certain way, I'm gonna get that. or you can just brush it, brush in some of this darkness, brush out some of the darkness, brush in some of the bright. And I'm just going to kind of zip through this. But what's really cool, and what I like to do, is sort of highlight some of the colors. Like here's some real reds there. I can bring those in just by decreasing the brush size. And that sort of draws your eyes away from the dark areas. These are much brighter. So these highlights here, I don't really need to do that, but I'm just going to do that. Ooh, look at that. I can add a layer there. All right, so let's see before and after. So that's pretty good, and that definitely adds... Um, you know, sort of the hotel, casino lighting, spot lighting effect. And then you can change the opacity here. I mean, that's nothing. So you can, you know, soften it a little bit. And then you can duplicate this layer as well. Just by, I do Command J on Mac. And that just creates a duplicate of that. You can do that all the way up and really exaggerate it, but we don't want to do that. Another way to do it, I'm going to throw this out. And this is another one. I'm going to duplicate the layer. This is another uh, process I use quite a bit. Uh, basically the same steps 
duplicate layer, change uh, layer mode to screen, uh, create a mask, invert it, then go use the gradient radial tool. And you'll want to use this, I don't know what this one's called, but it's this one. Uh, that's the style, I believe that's correct. And then this is a radial, so you, you can create sort of spots if you want. Uh, mode normal, opacity, I don't know, 70, 60, 70, somewhere around there. And then you can just start from the center of what you want brightened, and it'll create a radial, uh, it'll reveal a ra you know, the radial or a round sort of area um, underneath, the layer underneath. And then check it out. You can do little tiny ones on like fruit and whatnot, plates, any colors. I do this on colors sometimes, so you got to be careful because zoom in here 100%. If you go over, you're going to get some bleed there, so you got to be really careful. Uh, most clients aren't going to notice that. Uh, here's another color I wanted to kind of bring out just a little bit. You know, maybe something up here or something here, smack that around. Uh, and then let's look at before and after. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Before and after. And then flatten the layers. Uh, I did this shortcut, but, uh, you know, flatten image. You guys all know that. Uh, this also is another process where I can duplicate this layer, and I've had some luck with this. Uh, here's another one, is where you can you can create an overlay layer, and then create another inverted mask, and then use the brush tool. You can kind of brush in some of that. Where is it? Let's just get rid of that. Uh, some of this rich, inky. Uh, contrast, you can brush that in as well because this looks like there's a little bit of mid-tone kind of frost. So brush tool and that, this sometimes works really well on bulbs. You can just bring in that sort of inky and increase this kind of vivid See how that really brings in a lot of contrast where there isn't any? You know, and then, then you just decrease the opacity. So that's nothing. Let's go to about 50%. So that'll bring in a little bit of contrast. And, you know, this is again season to taste. Uh, maybe a little more on these guys here. Brush tool, decrease, and that can help pop these sort of blown out some noise there. Huh? You know, it just adds what I call ink, inky color. What else needs some ink? You know, you can put some ink here. So that's sort of step two. So there's that image. Look at these lights. Jeez. So before, after, before, after. And again, you know, if you can change the opacity, just bring it in a little bit. There you go.